Well, hello and welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate, and I'm telling you what, I got such a nice home for you today. Y'all are going to want to stick around. Check this one out. We've got some really nice backsplash in the kitchen. We've got a gas burning fireplace that I know you can get a wood burning substitute or you can substitute it for a wood burning fireplace. We've got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. We are at Majestic Homes here in Billings. Um, I forget the model name of this home. I know it's a legacy home. I'll make sure I put that in the uh, text down below. Everything about this home is super nice. We've got sliding glass door on the back side here. So now as we come in, we've got this really nice front door right here. I like the glass that they use in here. And I've seen this in just about all their homes. This exact same style front door. So I know that you can get different doors. I know I've seen them in other homes of the same model, same manufacturer. So if you want a different door, you can get that. Of course, we do have our coat closet right next to the front door here. Now as we spin around, you will see this is an open floor plan with our kitchen, our dining room, and our living room. But there is your fireplace. There's a couch I was sitting on to do my intro. All right, so let's go check out this fireplace. Now that we've looked at the couch. <laughs> so we've got the dark gray stonework all the way around. Looks really good. So it looks really good. Now let's spin around, take another look at your living room here. Now, before we go into the kitchen and take a look at all that, we're going to come over here and do the master bedroom. We're going to go out of order today. And in case I didn't mention it, which I know I did, we are at Majestic Homes right here on the corner of MacArthur and Laurel. Of course, I can't get that other sign. There's that train that went by. <laughs> Starting and stopping. They're, uh, I'm not sure what they're doing, but they started and stopped like three different times while I was trying to film the outro, <laughs> or the intro, I should say. Now we have the Hunter ceiling fans. Of course, that one's not put together. The rest of it is sitting in the closet in here, along with all the rest of the trim supplies. Now, as you can tell, when we were doing the kind of pan around they haven't fully trimmed this home out as you can see also by the doors here we've got the dual sinks hello Raiden we even have a medicine cabinet in this one now I filmed one earlier today 
that had the dual sinks like this, but instead of having two giant mirrors like that, you had a one mirror, two mirror, three mirror, four mirror, and behind them was a bunch of shelves. So they all were doors that opened up. That was really cool. I'd like to see a few more manufacturers come up with something like that. If it's not on the channel already, keep looking for it. It's coming. If it is, I'll let you know if it's already on the channel. And here is your tile shower. And you just got the ring head shower in here. Of course, I know you can option in the ones with the, the style with the wand and all that because I've seen that in just about all the other homes. Did we get the closet? Oh yeah, we got the closet. <laughs> so how about we move on to the kitchen? So in the kitchen, you've got the dark stained cabinets, the stainless steel Frigidaire appliances. We've got lots of cabinets in here with soft closed doors. So you've got this nice dark tile um, backsplash with the glass inlay for trim, or for accent, I should say. And then we've got not just your standard corner pantry. Yep, automatic lights. <laughs> we have the large, what another manufacturer calls smuggler's pantry. This thing is nice and large. I love seeing these big pantries like this. And then we'll continue on with our kitchen here. We've got dual outlets on this end of the island. Nice big island. Now this one is a dish drawer with all the fire alarms in it. None of the fire alarms have been installed. <laughs> this one is a pot and pan drawer. The difference, you can see this one's got a bunch of holes and some hardware to be able to lay your dishes or stand all your dishes up. Mm. And we've just got the double sink here, but we do have the sprayer faucet. We've got a nice big window above our sink. Of course, there's a home directly outside. <laughs> And then the office is over there. I really like the color of the countertops here. Now let's just do this. You're not hurting for light in your kitchen area. <laughs> that is a lot of recessed lighting. And in our dining room with the six person table, plenty of room to maybe make that an eight person table by having two one that's wide enough for two seats at this end, you know, so on and so forth. Of course, the sliding glass door over there. And once again, this is, I already showed this, but you've got the recess lighting up above you there. And I don't know if this is something that they custom order for all their homes, but every home I have toured has had this little nook in it. And 
and into your guest bathroom with the square sink. So again, you've got the shower tub combo, just a single piece, really nice. This is kind of the standard I've seen in all their homes. And across from that is your first guest bedroom. Got to move on to bedroom number two. Well, I guess technically now it's bedroom number three, right? Because we already did the master bedroom. Since I can see it plain as day here, that dark blue home over there, if it's not on the channel, and if you're looking for a two bedroom, single wide, go check that one out it'll be either be in the single white playlist if it's not on the channel it will be it's all and it, that's where you'll find it it's a really nice home okay we've got our drop zone in our utility room with our back door and our utility or utility box yes electrical box not utility box <laughs> i guess technically it could be called a utility box right we've got the sink in the utility room nice set of drawers right there lots of cabinet space in here and the reason you haven't seen the water heater yet because I haven't shown it to you. It hits right here in its own little closet. As is the furnace. Of course, they're always in their own little closet, right? <laughs> now you hear that? You can't hardly hear that furnace running. Now how is that for some well insulated furnace? And with that, don't insulate your comments. Let, it, let them fly. <laughs> Leave me all the comments you want down below. I read just about every comment, especially when the videos first come out. I enjoy reading the comments, seeing what you guys have to say, seeing what you guys would like to see for upgrades or changes to the homes. While you're there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and uh, share this video with your friends and family. That way uh, everybody else can see this wonderful home. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now we got to get into some price information for this home. So I want to start off with saying that uh, Majestic Homes doesn't give me an actual price for this home, but I do have some price information for you. All of the homes at Majestic Homes are custom built homes, so they don't want to give me a price because they vary from home to home and they're not your standard cookie cutter floor plans that would come from, like say this one is the Legacy 412, which is a Schultz home, which is a division of Clayton Homes. What I have been able to find for you for price information on Clayton's website, the Legacy 412 says it starts in the $200,000 range. I did find this home listed at uh, another dealer, actually, that I filmed at last year. It was at uh, Lichty Homes in Minot, North Dakota. So one of those places I filmed at already. They've got this home listed at $247,000. So I don't know exactly what this is going for at... Majestic homes, but you could figure somewhere in that kind of price range with that said I hope you all are hitting the like button hitting the subscribe button turning on notifications 
That way you get notified when I upload videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.